Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is V and I am Cloud Security Engineer. In this video, I would like to share my experience on Azure 305 exams. So I just passed these exams like two days ago and I would like to share my experience about the exam itself and what is the benefit of having this certification. A little bit about myself. So I have uh, experience with uh, Microsoft Azure for two years now. I did some uh, administrative tasks, configuration and security hardening on Microsoft Azure. So these exams, it's uh, really useful for anyone that's already have the hands-on experience on Azure and want to level up their skills. I recommended this certification to anyone that's still working on landing their first job on uh, cloud roles because it's 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 complex and it's required some hands-on experience uh, but if you want to give it a try why not there's no one to stop you but uh, if you want to land your first role in um, in the cloud azure 104 it's uh, i believe it's enough to land the uh, the first uh, the first role in cloud engineering my preparation for this exam is pretty simple i learned from microsoft learn uh, I read all the modules and also did some hands-on practice. I also joined the Microsoft ESI training. So ESI is stand for Enterprise uh, Skills Initiative. If you work for the company that uh, partners with Microsoft, you will have access to this uh, Microsoft training and it's free and it's delivered by the expert from Microsoft itself. It's really helpful and it's really useful. The course, the training, it's around four days, nine to five, it's like a full day uh, training. Uh, it's, and also it's, uh, it's not recorded training. It's, it's on Teams channels meeting training. So you can communicate with the instructor, you can ask questions, it's very interactive and they are very knowledgeable and they are expert in their uh, field as well. So after I uh, finished the training, I watched John Seville's videos, uh, take some notes, I did watch the video a uh, couple of times. And after I watched the videos, I took some exam tests. Uh, there is some exam tests on Udemy or on another platform. I use Udemy because uh, it's provided by my company. So it's for me, it's free. I don't have to pay for anything, but if you want, there is also another practice test uh, platform other than Udemy that you require to pay some money, but because uh, I just using the one that is already available for me and I don't have to pay for it. So after do, after did some uh, many times of the exam tests, and I feel confident. So I booked the exam on September 2023. Uh, I did the exams from my uh, home. I'm not, I didn't go to the test center because I feel more comfortable to do the exams in my own home. Um, but everyone is different. Yeah, you can choose either you want to take the exams in the test center or from your own comfortable home. The exam itself, it's open book, surprisingly. This month, you can search on Microsoft Learn while doing exams. Yeah, it's 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 kind of I could say that this is open book exam because it's really helped me to search a topic that I probably forgot or I didn't learn about it before my exams. And this Microsoft Learn feature on the exam is very useful. If you are uh, wondering how to access these Microsoft exams, so if you see on the bottom of the screen, you will see there is the calculators, there is like a timer pause and um, another uh, icons over there, and you will see there is Microsoft Learn icon. Click on that icon and it will open the Microsoft Learn on the same screen. You can also open multiple tabs to search on Microsoft Learn and it will help you as well to uh, search faster. I didn't know about this that you can open multiple tabs until I finished the exam and I read some documentation about it. I also leave the link of the Microsoft Learn under this video. Uh, lucky me, I passed with the scores 741. So the passing score is 700. Um, 
um, just like pass it with just a little bit more <laughs> scores as always but yeah i pass it so it's great and what is the benefit to having this certification the benefit is that you learn how to design the database uh, and also you need to design the network the disaster recovery the backups that uh, it didn't it did cover on uh, az104 but this is more broader um, area a broader subjects here and uh, can can we get uh, can we use this certification to land the uh, architect as your architect role maybe maybe you can uh, you can add uh, Azure 305 certification on your CV and you apply for the architect role yeah why not you can give it a try but it's not guaranteed that uh, you will get the architect role without any experience without any hands-on and without any projects on Microsoft Azure uh, I believe that to become architect you need to have a lot of experience get your hands dirty on a lot of projects and uh, GCP she has really good videos about the hands-on project for Azure 305, 104, and more. So you can visit her YouTube channels and do the mini project that she provided. And I think that's all the information that I have to share regarding about the AZ305 exams. My experience was pretty, uh, pretty good. <laughs> I passed in one go uh, thanks to the Microsoft Learn feature. And you can also use that feature for any exams, not only AZ305, but for all Microsoft uh, exams as well. So thank you for watching my video. I hope this video it's helped you to prepare the exams and I'll see you on another video.